Hey guys, and welcome back to The Thing. In the last part, we did something. In this part, we're going to go to the Seyford Observatory because Galanos wanted to go there. Because he wanted to investigate something. What is it? Is it important? Probably not. But you know what? We're going there anyway because we got to advance the plot, and I am so... I don't know. I'm something right now. Uh, man... I'll be perfectly honest. I'm a little, I'm a little bit RPG'd out right now. I've been doing way too many RPGs lately. I need something new. Ah. Anyway, go ahead and go to the relay point, and we're gonna go and do this thing that we already know what we need to do, and I don't need to explain it because you know what I'm doing because I already told you what we're gonna do because. Of the okay. Ah. Anyway. Uh, I think it's on the Celestia side. I hope it's on the Celestia side. Better be on the Celestia side. Let's see. Yes, it is. Thank you. Good. Okay. Let's do it. Thank you. I will be heading to the observation room. Okay. You know, how did you know this place was here? We never told you that, and only chosen people were able to come here. Let's get going. I'm coming. Okay, but that's it. Well, let's go. Sorry, but can you give me a little time? I want to help Galanos. Sure. I'll be back later. Merity cannot help, but Merity want to go. Oh, okay, fine. Reed, what should we do? Um, why don't we make sure the, the ship is in good working order? Chad, let's take the ship out for a spin. Good idea. All right, let's set sail. You don't have a sail. Don't you mean let's fire up the engines? Eh, whatever. Quite impressive. Yes, truly. But it would have been impossible with Shaleska alone. Inferior's help is what made all the difference. I have something I want to ask. I hear Celestia is a place of war. Have you considered becoming the leader of Shaleska? In essence, aren't you already the leader? No, I could never be. Boss is the reason I can lead the men with poise. You like him, don't you? Forgive my bluntness. Surrounded by bureaucrats, I've grown tired of small talk. The Miakis that the boss loves so dearly was raised by his long-lost wife. For as long as I live, I wish to be with this man of incorrigible passion, as his loyal sub-commander. You are very strong. deal with that little vermin clicky. Merity can be a very irresponsible master. At the very least, she should understand these machines are extremely delicate and need to be kept away from wild animals. Clicky. It can't be. Ah! There's fur here too! This can't be! I thought it went to the observation deck with Merity. You're shedding all over! 
Please, stop! Quicky, quicky, quicky! I'm begging you, please! It can't be! Is the analysis complete? Yes, and it doesn't look good. At most, it's three suum to the Grand Falls critical point. Maybe even shorter. As I thought, quite a situation. If the critical point is past, the gravity of the two worlds will pull with greater force and accelerate speed to such that... That's right! Even if we defeat Chazelle, there is no way to stop the Grand Fall. Damn! Is there no other way? We've exhausted every option. It's useless. Galanos, you should know that better than anyone. Have you finished your research? We've just concluded. I'm going to rest up a little bit. It's quiet, isn't it? You bet! Beautiful! I just wish that all of this, the Grand Fall, Nirid, all of it, I wish it were just a dream. It's not like Kiel to talk like that. I really feel that way. If it were just a dream, nobody would get hurt, right? If all a dream... Meridi never meet everyone. I would not be able to talk with Kiel like this. I'm glad it's not dream. Even though it's very sad, Meridi happy about now. Everyone alive! Meridi, you're really incredible. You say compliment? Yeah. Is that strange? Strange. Yes, because I think Kiel is always angry. That is usual, and so today is very strange. Am I really like that? Angry all the time? Yes, but it is okay. I like it when Kiel is strange. Compliment makes me happy. How long have you known? Hmm? What I did ten years ago? You knew, didn't you? Yeah. I learned it during the trials of Seyford. Oh. So you did know. Ow! You kept it a secret? Why didn't you tell me? Farah, you haven't changed much, have you? I haven't? It's because of you. Huh? When I laugh, or get really mad, or even occasionally cry, the only reason I can be the person I am is because of you, Reed. I'm who I am today because you were always there. Looking after me. Protect those you love. That was what Ras said. He said that the Aurora Art exists for that purpose. If it's to protect people you love, the will of the people is limitless. That's why I'm here. I'm here. Undaunted and with no regret or hesitation. Those you love, huh? I want to protect you, Reed. 
I can't do it alone. But there are the others. With friends by our side, there's nothing to be afraid of, right? Yeah, you're right. I'm starting to think maybe we can do it. Of course! Yeah, no problem! The time is nigh. Everyone, are you prepared? Of course we're prepared. We are the Greater Kramers. Yes, but the real question is how much can we count on the humans? You think so? I think there are unreliable Greater Kramers amongst us as well. Gnome, did you get that? Stop daydreaming! Huh? Why me? Humans fight hard. We fight hard, too. I know. We're taking this seriously as well. Isn't that right, Gnome? We will be fine. Humans need help. It's not a foe they can handle on their own. They are no fools, these humans. I trust in their potential. And that's why I wish to continue living in this world with them. I believe in them as well. For all that live within the realm of Eternia, shall we fight for them? Yeah. Sorry, I'm a bit late. Don't worry about it. By the way, did you finish your research? Yeah. What about Galvanos? He said the rest is up to us. Alright, let's go. Is everybody ready? Yeah, uh-huh, you bet! Full speed ahead. Oh, well, I guess the engine's still working okay. Even though with all the animal fur in there. All right, let's do it. Uh, wait, which way do we go again? I think it's to the north. Oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> now that's a final dungeon mark on the minimap if ever I saw one. Jeez. Celestian Kramel. Mia gets to our hearts. Yeah, yeah. Inferian Kramel. Roger. Rebavius Lens. Ready to fire. So what, you fire it from the barrel? What? I mean, you fire it from the lens? Okay. There it is, the dark matter. Charging Kramel energy into the bow Kramel cannon. Let's do it.
All right. Did it work? Wait. What is that? Something new has appeared. It looks strange. That must be its true form. It finally shed its disguise. We got her now. Giselle's in there. Phew! Finally! Yeah, really. Took us a whole game to get here, but there it is. That, my friends, is the shrimp. No, seriously, doesn't that look a little bit like a shrimp from here? But yeah, from here it looks more like some kind of flower. But yeah, that is Chazelle Castle. That is the final dungeon. Uh, we are actually going to venture inside of it right now, believe it or not. So let's go ahead and do it. Uh, this place is weird. I'm gonna tell you that right now. So this is the inside. I have a feeling what we're seeing isn't real. Are you saying this is an, this is an illusion? A world without substance. Vattenkeist! Right. In other words, it's a manifestation of Chazelle's imagination. Let's go! Yeah. Let's move on. Alright. So, we have uh, everybody with us, I think. Oh yeah, everybody's with us. Let's venture forth. And before you ask, for those of... For those of you that are knowledgeable about the game, no, we're not ending it. Don't worry. We're not going all the way through here. Because I know that's what some of you are probably worried about. We're not finishing this now. Because, um, true to the series, there's usually something in the final dungeon that once you get it, it unlocks a lot of side things. That is what we're here to get for now. We are going to be coming back and finishing this later, of course. I mean... It's like, we are going to be finishing this game eventually. <laughs> Jeez, I'm a moron. Anyway, uh, this is the Mystic Sword. This is one of the most powerful weapons in the game for Reed. So go ahead and pick it up. It is a water elemental sword. So, yeah, it's kind of weird that it's a water elemental, but it's a very, very good sword. Be sure to pick it up. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go up. Uh, these elevators here, um, you're going to want to go up and down on all the elevators you see. Okay, now I think I want to go down because I think that actually... I think that's where we need to go. And if you go down, you get an item. And you want to get all the items from here. Trust me, they're very good things. Okay. Um, let's see here. Okay, maybe I was wrong. I don't know. I don't really know my way around here too well because, you know, Final Dungeon. You don't really spend a whole ton of time here. Oh, okay, I think this might be where we need to go. My bad. Oh, well. I'll just come back for the other thing later. Because we are going to be coming back here. Um, now, this. Oh, wait. Is this where I need to go? Oh, hey, it is an item. Okay, I'm, looks like I did get it right. Ah. Alright. Uh, the enemies here are kind of weird. You get fire warriors up here. And I also I love the background for this. Because how it's kind of like a, like a galaxy back there. Oh, and you got a freeze. That's pretty funny. You don't see that very often. Uh, oh, the treasure chest was a fake find. Yeah, this is where we needed to go, that's for sure. We're going to leave this fake alone, because I don't feel like fighting him. All right. Now, um, I'm looking for a specific elevator. I think I might have missed it. Let's see here. Okay, now this is very, very important. Uh, you definitely want to take this path, because this... That up there, that little circle there, that's where you want to go to advance in the dungeon. But we don't want to do that yet. What you want to do is come down here, come straight down, and then this door right here that we couldn't go through before. I didn't really explain that very well, sorry. We couldn't go through there before, but now we can. So it's important to do that. Even if you're going to just go right back to the beginning of the dungeon like I am, it's still important to take that path. Okay, so we're going to go back over here, and this time we're going up. Because I thought if we went down, we would get an item. Apparently not. I was wrong. Okay. So go up. And there's a very, very special item here for us eventually, once I can actually find it. Aha! Alright. We get the Mithril Mesh. We get a Luck Bag. We get a Demon Seal. And we get a monster. That's not a fake. It's a monster. <laughs> Jeez this game and forcing me to do fights. Okay. So, 
Run from the fights again. Although, if you're going to be doing... If you're going to go through the whole, you know, dungeon to actually advance, I wouldn't recommend running. But anyway, Mumbane, an armor protected by the deity of Earth. Not the Earth Spirit. No, it's the deity of Earth, which I didn't even know that existed in these games. But okay. Anyway, the luck bag. <laughs> hey, that's a suitcase. A bag that brings luck and happiness. Well, okay then. I didn't know the suitcases brought luck and happiness. Um, I forgot where that takes me. I know... Wait, wait, wait. Okay, that's where we need to go. There's nowhere else we can go. All right, then. Um, need to head up here. Now, where's this going to take me? Aha! This is it. Right here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use a, light, a holy bottle here. And we are going to go here. We got the Dark Sphere. Remember the Light Sphere? That's the other one. That's the Dark Sphere. Bet you never would have guessed. Anyway, now that we have that, we're going to leave. But hopefully not before I can find something else here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end it off. In the next part, I'm going to find the other thing that needs to be found here. So I'll see you guys later.